Greetings comrades and Mr. Gansels and today I'll basically be talking about what happened on my trip to uh, Lulworth Cove. So as I've told you before, <coughs> it consisted of two days. So um, whereas on the, on the Monday we went to uh, Whitecliffe Bay in Isle of Wight here on the Thursday and Friday we went to Lulworth Cove and the weather was very different. Let's put it this way. So when, when we got to Lulworth Cove um, it was cold and wet and windy and my gloves got soaked very quickly, which caused a lot of discomfort later on. But so basically, this is, this is just a picture of Lullaworth Cove we had. Yeah, so some of you who've been here, mate, will know exactly where, where, where it is I'm talking about and everything. So, you know, there's just the one that I'm in one of our groups, because uh, there were three groups in our class. And, and uh, yeah, and so basically, that's one of the groups over there, and then there's another group over there. And so we were here, we were on the, um, on the other side. So we were on the east, the west side of the cove and we were looking at the rocks there. And then, as then I decided to take a picture of the wall behind us, because that, that was a limestone wall. I believe it was limestone. And all these like little white things you can see are all fossils. There were a huge amount of fossils, absolutely huge amount. Like this, 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 this was only like a couple of meters up and like maybe a, you know, a half meters across. So the, there, were, there were thousands of fossils embedded in this rock wall. And this is a picture from behind us, uh, you know, looking back when we start, took a little bit of a walk away. So there's been a bit of erosion in this area, which is exposing this bit, this bit of concrete here. But you can clearly see the wall where, we, where the, all those fossils were. There's a lot of rubble and scree and stuff here from the fallen from up, further up. There's a little stream here. But it was, it was you, you're gonna see very quickly, it was a very cold and wet day. And then here was a clay bed. So there was a lot of clay sticking out there. Well, there's a lot of clay being exposed and it was being washed away in these little colorful streams or, um, down the, uh, down the beach, some of them were grey blue, some of them were greenish, some of them were red, pink, yellowish. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, so it's trying to point out that there's you know your big rocks here and then you have some clay on top. You know, not exactly the best combination, especially on a cliff. So you can clearly see the distinction between the different layers here. Sandy and then clay. And then this was a pic this is a picture of the, um, the chalk cliffs I took. So basically, uh, well not, okay, th this is a bit of rock near the chalk cliff. So you can see all this uh, all this rock here and all these weird lumps. And this is basically due to the effects of uh, burrowing, cr burrowing creatures. As they leave all these little nodules and indentations and grooves in the rock and then they're preserved when the rock is fossilized. But basically, this, this is these are all the trace fossils of various uh, uh, creatures. And it was very wet. <laughs> Yeah, suddenly got feeling in my hands again, yeah. Yes, my hands are very cold. How come this has to be a big one? Oh, 
Oh, I'll be going. Why can't we just stay and watch? I want to watch this now. Yeah, so basically we were at this section of the cliff and I'll show you on the map. Yeah, we were right there. So basically this uh this section of the cliff was uh being was completely saturated because of the clays. And you can hear the wind and see all the rain and everything. And so what happened was the it was quarry basically causing a small mud flow. And you can see it's, it's flowing down here at the bottom, which I am um, trying to record now. Yeah, you can see it flowing. Almost like almost like a semi-liquid. And basically there were big boulders and stuff coming down from the top of the cliff, from the chalk part of the cliff. Before I started filming, a boulder twice the size of my head rolled down and I screamed and ran away with a couple of other people because we were right in front of it. And then after this, when I look back uh, a couple of hours later when it was still raining, you could actually see big boulders falling down the cliff. Because basically this whole section up here was unstable and it's going to collapse. You can see previous examples of the boulders down here, just where it was, uh, you know, it was, was going to break. Man, it was it was it was quite it was quite amazing to see. You know, just almost like a small mud flow of stuff down at the bottom, and then the occasional boulder coming from the top. And you could see traces of these like previous mud flows that happened all over the uh, the cliff here. But it was it was it was interesting to see what happened in person. I'll say that. I mean, I never thought I'd see something quite like this before. Or, or maybe, maybe next next up is to see a rock fall collapse, or no, rock a uh, cliff collapse or rock fall. But yes, yeah, so you can see especially down here, it's flowing like a liquid. You really don't want to be under that. Like some of those boulders down there, are, like at least the size of your head. Or the, like the size of a fist to the size of a head or even a bit bigger. And if that fall thing is falling from maybe 20, 30 meters up the cliff, that is not going to do you any good if that hits you. Yeah, right now I was trying to get my glove on because my hand was really... I had to hold this in my bare hand, but my hand was getting really cold. Uh, sorry, sorry, that's, that's my friend. Uh, basically, my hand was getting so cold that I could have started to lose feeling in it. Uh, it's increasing rain again. So basically, I had to put my glove on. I was so cold feeling this. Yeah, look at this boulder, look at this little pebbles come down. You don't want one of those big rocks falling on you. Yeah, you can see all that cliff up there, all that cliff up there. You don't want to be under that when that thing collapses. It's oddly satisfying to watch. Oh, that, that, that's just me, really. But look, there you go, there's, there's a, there goes a bit. I was secretly, I was, I was actually hoping that the rest of this uh, loose rock up here would collapse, but unfortunately it didn't happen, so, oh well. Can't win anymore, but, you know, it was, it was nice enough to see this happen. You know, it's first experience of this, hopefully I'll see something a bit more powerful later on. Oh yeah, and, um, okay, fine, so it is a bit of a difference. So what happened after this was you continue to go around the rocks and try and, um, talk about what the different rock types are and stuff, or the details about them. But I got very, very cold, and so I couldn't actually take, I couldn't actually write anything, because I was so cold. And, um, what ended up happening was, uh, eventually we stopped for lunch, and I was, like, walking up and down the beach, trying to eat everything as quickly as possible, because my hands were freezing. Like, I had, I had gloves on, but the problem was it becomes saturated with the rain, so it was causing me more harm than anything. And so, like I said in the, in the, when I was talking about this day previously, I put my hands under my arms for, like, ten minutes to keep them warm, and they were slightly warm at the end of it. And we walked all the way to the other side of that cliff, to the other side of the cove, and we came, then we came all the way back, and I was freezing. So I went to the, um, so we went to the cafe there. And then, uh, and I was freezing, and I was, it was warm, nice to be in the warmth. And so I ordered a, um, a latte, a latte, and a, and a chocolate chip cookie, and I ate that. Yeah, I met, I met that nice woman, she, you know, the, the, behind the, behind the, the till. She helped pour the, 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 the hot, she helped pour the latte for me, and it was really nice of her. And it, it was, it was, seriously, I, I was, I was so glad to be, to be warming up, to just be warm up through the coffee. And then that, that really nice chocolate chip cookie, that was so good. And then after this, this is afterwards, um, we climb onto this little bit of a rock, oh, this, uh, this um, hill, and we look down here, and, uh, you know, so I was, I was warmer this time, because I knew we were, and we were going to leave soon, so I just decided to look here, and you can see a bit of sun over there, but uh, over here, this is basically all chalk, very resistant to chalk, whereas the beds behind it weren't, 
and there you can see little caves and stuff that had formed so and over here there's a whirlpool over here because the tide would come forced through here swirl around and be sucked back out through that tiny gap whereas here it was a bit calmer because it was a bit wider but it was, it was a bit dangerous they didn't want to go down there and then there, this is the other side of it so you can see like all the bend the folding in the rock here and stuff and uh, there, there's a um, someone drinking a coffee cup there's there's more folds in the rock here and a bit of a cliff there we saw one guy walk all the way down I don't know what happened to him and this one come back up 